you in first frame, Epsilon. The game has just begun. Having divided the city for almost 30 years, the Berlin Wall was taken down after the wave of democratization forced the hardline government out of power. Yes, Crandall. Did they really build a wall to cut the city in half? Yes, Crandall. I know it's hard to believe, but those were different times. Crandall, Brenda, and Hector, the governor needs you in his office. You are excused. Root me, Brenda! Hey, Timo, thanks for rocking on over. You remember the chief's daughter, Patience. Hi, Patience. What seems to be the problem? This morning, my pop left a message for me to pack my bags and stay at my aunt's. He said Trediac's back. What's a Trediac? Not what, Brenda? Who? Lights, please. This is Vladimir Trediac, the most notorious espionage operative in the annals of the old war. He looks nasty. Well, that's because he is, Skate Lad. Until recently, we believe Trediac was locked up in the international facility for extremely dangerous individuals. That's Ithity. My pop was the good guy who captured him, and Trediac vowed that someday he would even the score. The chief captured someone? That's right. Pop was once our nation's top spy. Now you know that's not true, Patience. That figures. Actually, the chief was our nation's top operative. Nobody called them spies. Dig this. No way! Way! And now it seems the chief has gone undercover in an attempt to keep Trediac away from populated areas where average citizens could be hurt. But I think he could use some help. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We're on it. Come on, Timo. Where do you think the chief's going to be, Cap? The most remote part of the state, Skate Lad. The State Forest. Hey, that shrub wasn't there before. You sure? This forest is full of shrubs. Yeah, but how many of them have feet? I know those shoes. Hiya, Chief. Quiet! Do you want to blow my cover? Chief, what are you doing? Never mind what I'm doing. What are you doing? Governor Kevin sent us to protect you. Protect me? Poof! I've handled Trediac before and I can handle him again. But wouldn't it be easier if you let us... No! Now scram! I don't want you kids around when... Demo, look! What are those? Odd. Uh, they look like flying trash cans. Those aren't flying trash cans. They're Zolate hover cans. It's Trediac. Don't worry, Chief. We'll handle them. No, wait. Sorry, Chief. Can't hear you. Chief! 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 Commandant, superhero youths ahead. And they appear to be using level 7 equipment. Excellent. Lead them to my location. I have little surprise in store for them. Those hover cans sure don't move too fast. Yep, we've almost got them. Commandant, these super youths mean business. Indeed we do. It's all over, Trediac. Yes, it's all over. For you. Huh? What the? Ah, you like my Zalvosim deactivator? Belzo, huh? Level 8 in Anglitsky. You see, my country's technology is full level higher than yours. And we know all your little level 7 secrets. I wouldn't count on it, Trediac. But I would, and I do this for a living. Now, cohorts, let us dispose of these little... Hold it right there, Tretiac. No, Chief, stay back. Well, well, the shadowy Operative Epsilon reveals himself at last. Operative Epsilon? You mean the Chief? The Chief now, is it? So, they promote you? For my capture, no doubt. Yet another of your twisted beliefs, Tretiac. Now let the kids go. I'm the one you're really after. Still the all-American good guy, eh? Offering yourself up in their place? That's right. Come and get me. I'm unarmed. No, Chief, don't. Honorable as ever, Epsilon. But you will see where your vaunted honor gets you. Cohorts, take them all. Thanks for trying to save us back there, Chief. Well, it was worth a shot. 
Why are you doing this, you big meanie? Because I want your so-called chief to suffer just as I did at the International Facility for extremely dangerous individuals. But the chief's not dangerous. He's not even extreme. All the more reason for him to suffer. Watching endless films depicting the capitalist society, I'd sworn to destroy. God, the mere thought brings dyspepsia and an itching to my scalp. In our country, we have lotions for such things. What on earth are you talking about, Tredyant? This! Shopping, shopping, we love shopping. Shopping early, shopping late. Ah, enough! I shut it off now. But we're missing the good part. Man, some folks just don't appreciate filmmaking. Or a catchy tune. Enough of your insolence. Now, before I can sign you all to your collective fate, which I might add is a bad one, we'll play a game. Huh? huh? That's right. Now that I've proven myself Master Spy, I shall prove my mastery at the sport of the Apparachiki. I bet it's darts. No, the sport of the Apparachiki is bowling. Ah, you've studied that well. Come, Epsilon, shall we play a game? He'll never play your sick games, Trediac. Nor will he trust your scorekeeping. Don't listen to the kids. I'll accept your challenge any time, any day. The time is now. Release him and bring him a bowling ball. What are you doing, Chief? This has got to be another trap. Either that, or he's really good at bowling and wants to show you up. Don't worry. We're not finished yet. Let the game begin! The tenth and final frame of your life as free man. Who, however long for this moment, between bouts of dyspepsia and itching. Well, you certainly have had plenty of time to. I wasn't kidding about the insolence. You really need to zip it up. And I suggest you make this last frame count. I plan to. Oh, too bad. The seven-ten split. No one can pick up that spare. We'll see about that. Come on, Timo! Coach Rock! Have you forgotten my level 8 deactivator? Thanks for reminding us. Timo, frequency scramblers. What? I don't understand. Looks like our level 7's outsmarted your level 8. So, Yanka. We were bowling. Hey, Chief, looks like you got your strike after all. There you go. He's all yours. Curse you, Epsilon. And try to get some better movies so he doesn't try escaping again. Bless you, Epsilon. Hey, kids. I would have gotten you out earlier, but I kept bowling strikes. Not to worry, Chief. Yeah, you're a really good bowler. Well, we all have to be good at something. Ah, I was so worried about you. Ah, nothing to worry about now, Patience. Tredyac's back in custody. I'm just glad you're all right. 
Aw, oh, Pop, you're my hero. Actually, Patience, today the Chief is everyone's hero. Word up, Timo. And that's why I'm giving the Chief this official hero award. Wow! Does this mean I get to go to level 7 now? Uh, no. But we can give you Tredyax level 8 stuff. Well, at least I got a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> Because it has only two sides, the probability of a coin coming up heads as opposed to tails is one in two. Probability is the mathematical term for calculating how likely it is that something will happen. Yes, Crandall. Is it possible to calculate the probability of life on other planets? Actually, yes, Crandall, provided you can estimate the number of planets in the universe divided by... Yes? Crandall, Brenda, and Hector, the governor needs you in his office. You are excused. Root me, Brenda! Top of the morning to you, Timo. Listen, we've got big problems. Ireland's luckiest living looter is loose in our locale. And just in time for St. Patrick's Day, too. His name is Sinister Shillelagh. He and his flunkies, the Shenanigan Brothers, just robbed their 12th bank this week. Your ball, Chief. We found this at the scene of the crime. It's a limerick. I am the man known as Shillelagh, who likes to rob several banks daily. I'm filling my stash with all your state's cash and laugh at your troubles gaily. Where are the banks? Perhaps we can figure out his next target. The robbed banks are here, 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 here. Uh, we get the idea, Chief. Looks like it's making some kind of shape. You're right, Rogue Girl. It's beginning to look a lot like... Christmas? I'm betting a shamrock. And if Shillelagh sticks to his pattern, this is where he'll strike next. Let's move. <laughs> Corin Begora add another bank emptied of all its green money. Oh, I love that color. Where might we be headed next, Shillelagh? To where the green stretches as far as the eye can see. A golf course? Don't be daft. I mean another bank. Not so fast, Shillelagh. What's this? <laughs> They're calling in the wee people. You wouldn't be leprechauns now, would you? Not unless you're the Easter Bunny. And those bags are filled with colored eggs. Actually, they'd be filled with cash money green. And no, I'm no Easter Bunny. I didn't think so, evil doer. But <laughs> Huh? Wow! What happened? Why, your wee friends just got a taste of the luck of the Irish, courtesy of me belt of the Celts. Yeah, well, your luck's just run out. Chica! What's that? Chica! Oh, bad for you, lucky for me. Thanks to the belt of the Celts, I'm all luck all the time. <laughs> I'd say this just ain't our lucky day. But you some poor English isn't going to solve anything. With that belt of the Celts, we're unstoppable. Aye, we're all rich now, too. Yes, but what of it? Money only goes so far, lads. I want something money can't buy. Something so grand that few Irishmen dare dream of it. What might that be? I want St. Patrick's Day to be renamed after me. Oh, is that all? How do you plan on doing that, then? Simple. We'll steal everything in the state that's the color green until the governor agrees to me terms. There can't be St. Patrick's Day without the color green. That's the honest truth. Yes. And once all the green is gone, it'll be happy Shalali Day to us all. <laughs> Grain peas? Aye. Grain apples? Aye. Grain beans? Aye. Collard grains? Aye. Dudes, I was putting. My card, Governor. Ah. Another limerick? 
You're only beginning to see the start of me new stealing spree. You'll lose all your green by March 17, unless you name St. Pat's after me. He wants his own holiday? That's right, and St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. It just keeps getting worse with this guy. You said it, skate lad. His green crime spree's totally wrecking my golf game. Not to mention the havoc he's caused since he stole all the green money. Everyone's using coins. The state's cash registers can't handle it. Says so, so. he sure is making a mess. And the belt of the kilts he wears makes him too lucky to stop. Perhaps Mr. Paulson could tell us how it works. Lucky belt, eh? Yes. Do you have anything that could counteract it? Well, Captain Crandall, luck really isn't something we can fabricate in the lab. You see, luck is mostly a statistical anomaly. Maybe we could give you some good luck charms. I think I still have some I used during my finals at State Tech. But there's nothing about those trinkets that's scientifically proven to change probability. Timo, Shillelagh is looting the Laurel Lawn and Garden Supply. What's he stealing now? I'm guessing lawn and garden supplies. In any event, you've got to stop him. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. We're on the case. Timo! Supremo! Hurry up, me lads. There's a sea of green waiting to be pilfered. You've reached the end of the lawn, Shillelagh. Our state's had enough of you and your shenanigans. Now just set the grass down nice and easy. You again? Well, we'll just have to invoke the look of the Irish now, won't we? This time you won't invoke anything. Why, look, me shoe's untied. But that! Oh, no! My rope! Rope girl, wait! Wow! Now, who might have thought having an untied shoe would be lucky? Come on, shenanigans, let's get these lawns on the road. Oh, no, you don't, Shillelagh. Chewing gum on the street? How unlucky can you get? Now that's what I call the luck of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is so lucky. With St. Patrick's Day only one day away, the color green is noticeably absent across the state. Will the governor cave in and rename the holiday Shillelagh Day? An anxious state wonders and waits. We cannot let that happen. But he might have to. Yeah, the state's just not the same without the color green. Hey, Timo, having any luck stopping this shillelagh guy? Yeah, bad luck! This guy makes being lucky look routine. Well, maybe you need to make your own luck. Make our own luck? You may be onto something, Gene. In fact, you've just given me an idea. Thanks, Gene. Sure thing, Crandall. I have to know these things if I'm going to be a professional actuary someday. Okay, Timo, listen up. If shillelagh's luck happens when we try to capture him, what would happen if we tried to not capture him? He'd just get away, wouldn't he? Would he? Oh, I get it. You're assuming that the random variable of shillelagh's success correlates to an infinite sequence of numerical values. Whoa, Brenda. I didn't know you understood probability. Neither did I, but I guess I do. All right. So if we don't press our luck trying to catch shillelagh, then maybe luck will shift in our favor. It's Governor, Governor Kevin! Timo, Shillelagh's at it again. Another limerick, Governor Kevin? Well, sort of. Here's what he wrote. <laughs> I'm robbing the Emerald Museum. Oh, man. The guy's so confident, he didn't even bother to rhyme. The Emerald and Jade Museum holds the last bits of green left in the state. If Shillelagh steals those green gems, I might have to rename St. Patrick's Day. Don't worry, Governor Kevin. No villain can steal a holiday while Timo Supremo's around. Let's go. Timo Supremo! Shillelagh, he'd be coming this way. Have faith in the luck of the Irish lads. <coughs> eh, let it be the wife. Better get it. What? Phew, that was lucky. You're expecting anything less? Come on now, lads. Let's grab the loot. Surprise! Sinister Shillelagh. Why, look, it's our wee friends, Timo Supremo. Come to try your luck again? <laughs> not this time, Shillelagh. Huh? You mean you're not going to try to stop us? How can we? You got the belt of the Celts. And the look of the Irish. I'm just going to sit on my board and watch you work. I think I'll play with my yo-yo. <laughs> and I'm just going to practice my lasso twirling. <laughs> well, I'll be. Timo Supremo not trying to catch a thief. This really must be my lucky day. 
Danny boy, get the statue. Whoa! Look out! This is not so lucky. I wasn't even trying to catch him. Wow, what are the chances of something like that happening? Pecora, the luck of me lads has changed. It sure looks that way, Shillelagh. And you're going to be next. Don't be daft. I still have me belt of the Celts, so I can still make me exit. He's getting away! Not if I don't try to catch him. But <laughs> The bigger the belt, the harder they fall. All right, Mr. Limerick. Your Irish jig is up. Curse me luck. Brought down by the wee people. Sure, and Bagora, I have to hand it to you, kids. You really turned the tables on that shillelagh, dude. Don't mention it, Governor Kevin. Or as a certain villain might say. Shillelagh's another bandito whose evil we had to torpedo. So St. Patrick's Day is still here to stay. And it's all thanks to... Timo Supremo! <laughs> Feeling festive yet? Good! And the best is still yet to come as Captain Crandall, Skate Lad, and Rope Girl count down your evening at the party place to be in 2003. The New Year's Eve Timo Supremo Marathon rocks on! Right here on Toon Disney.